MXO PLC, the oil and gas investing company listed on AIM, is pleased to provide an update with regard to OML 113, the offshore license in Nigeria, in which it has an investment. The AJE field within the OML 113 license area commenced production in 2016. On 5 February 2018, the company announced that it would be updating its Competent Persons Report CPR, as a result of the production data that had been generated to date. The company is pleased to announce the results from the updated CPR. There have been significant developments in the AJE project over the past two years that have had a material impact on the project's reserves and resource position. Since the last CPR in July 2014, three new Senomanian penetrations have been drilled, AJE-5, AJE-5ST-1 and AJE-5ST-2, with production coming on stream from the Senomanian Reservoir in May 2016 and from the Tyronean Oil Rim in May 2017. A field development plan for the Tyronean AJE Gas Project FDP, was submitted to the Nigerian government for consideration in 2017. The FDP comprises four to five production wells in the Tyronean, tied back to existing and new infrastructure. The revised CPR has been completed by AGRTRACS International Limited AGRTRACS. This is an update to the CPR prepared by them in July 2014 and incorporates all developments and new data generated by the project since that date. Reserves and contingent resources reported in this latest CPR and from the 2014 CPR are summarized below. Reserves 2018 2018 2014 2014 Gross Net Entitlement to MXO Gross Net Entitlement to MXO MMBOE 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 1P Proven Reserve 78.25.011.70.72P Proven and Probable Reserves 127.18.223.41.33 P Proven, Probable and Possible Reserves 215.012.7 The level of reserves have increased significantly since the 2014 CPR. These estimates of reserves have been derived based on an oil price assumption of $60 per barrel flat real terms and a gas price assumption of $4 per MSCF flat real terms. Condensate is assumed to achieve the same price as oil and LPG's 65% of the oil price expressed in US dollar per barrel. AGRTRACS has also certified gross 1C unrisked contingent resources of 4 MMBOE, 2C unrisked contingent resources of 9 MMBOE, and 3C unrisked contingent resources of 17.5 MMBOE. X Oil's net entitlement is respectively 1C unrisked contingent resources of 0.20 MMBOE, 2C unrisked contingent resources of 0.45 MMBOE and 3C unrisked contingent resources of 0.88 MMBOE. All these contingent resource volumes are expressed as unrisked technically recoverable volumes without any economic cutoff, as the development plans are still in progress. The recent performance of the AJE5ST2 well completed on the Tyronean oil rim has encouraged the AJE partnership to consider a more extensive development of this oil rim. Since the AJE Gas FDP was completed and submitted ahead of this well coming online, AGRTRACS has only been able to recognize contingent resources associated with four horizontal wells proposed as a Phase two development in that plan. The encouraging production performance for the AJE 5 ST2 well so far provides a strong incentive for further studies to better understand how the oil rim can be optimally developed. These results confirm the commerciality of the AJE gas development, highlight the need for a revision to the development plan once the oil rim studies are completed and will underpin a final investment decision on the development of the Tyronean reserves in the future. MX Oil's classification of reserves and resources are based on the definitions set by the Petroleum Resources Management System PRMS 2007, sponsored by the Society of Petroleum Engineers, World Petroleum Council, American Association of Petroleum Geologists, Society of Petroleum Evaluation Engineers, SPE, WPC, AAPG, SPE, as issued in March 2007. This announcement has been reviewed by Dr. Mike Wynn, on behalf of AGRTRACS, who is VP of Reservoir Management. Management for a GRTRACS International Limited and who is a reservoir engineer and SPE member with more than 30 years of experience. 
in Africa, FSU, Middle East, and NW Europe. The announcement has also been reviewed by Nigel McKim, who of MX Oil PLC, who is a petroleum engineer and SPE member with more than 30 years of experience in field development planning and production. This announcement contains inside information for the purposes of Article 7 of EU Regulation 596-2014, and the person who arranged for release of this announcement on behalf of the company was Stefan Olivier, Chief Executive Officer of the company. Upon the publication of this announcement via a regulatory information service, this inside information is now considered to be in the public domain. Stefan Oliver CEO said, the revised CPR clearly demonstrates the potential of the AJE field and the level of resources and reserves that are potentially available. I look forward to updating the market as the various studies underway progress. Source, press release.